All right, so we are now on 9.2 day two notes. So just like in day one notes, it is critical that you know that we are going to use the graphing calculator just to discover what they look like. But then you never get to use the calculator again. You have to know by looking at the equation what it is, okay? So we're gonna learn our last two uh, polar graphs, which are roses, and limaisons and then we are going to do like a quick review of like what is this what is this what is this what is this okay so the first one we're going to talk about are roses okay so um let's do actually you know what we're going to do we're going to use i'm going to show you how to do it in the graphing calculator because i didn't show that yet um so i'm going to do um, Chrome, I know I should have just done this beforehand, but meh, whatever. Okay, there's my graphing calculator. Please work. It does. Great. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one to show you that you could do it in your graphing calculator if you needed to for some reason. Okay? So, I want to graph something. Usually I go to Y equals, right? So I click Y equals, and they're all Y equals. I need it to be R equals, right? You can change it to R equals. How do you do that? You click the mode button, okay? Now, if you look at the fourth option down, it's on function right now. But if you move it over, that means parametrics, which we're not doing. This means polars, which we are doing. So hit enter and then hit Y equals again. And voila, it's R equals now. So I can type in R equals four, cosine, and then I need two theta. So 2, and now I need theta. Theta is a variable just like x. So hit the x, which is right below mode, and it's actually hitting theta. Close the parentheses, and then I can hit graph. You can see, voila, that's what the rose looks like. Okay? And I'm not going to use that the rest of the period. I'm going to use, oopsies, I'm going to use Desmos. So let's use Desmos. Okay, I'm going to move this over so I have more room. All right, I'm going to type here. R equals... R equals four cosine two theta. So function cosine two theta alpha. There we go, theta. Okay. And it looks like that. I don't know what I'm looking for the parentheses for. It's obviously done being graphed. So if you look, this is what a rose looks like. It looks more like a four petaled flower for this one, but. <clears throat> Notice it says number of petals, so we're gonna you're gonna have to know how many petals it has based on the equation. That's what I'm gonna ask you. You have to know that it's a rose, and then how many petals it has. Okay, so you're gonna draw the center at zero zero, and then you can draw your four petals. If you want to make it accurate, you can so th see this goes out one, two, three, four. So all the petals go out four. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put a petal here, 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 and here. I'm just making it pretty accurate here so you can oh god no right here so I'll go like this and come back this way and go like this and there's my rose sloppy yes do I care it looks good enough to me I tried right four petals okay so the question is where does the four come from is it this right here but these also went out four so I don't know right yet well I do but you guys don't know yet all right, let's try another one. So look at the next one. It's four sine of two theta. Okay, so if you didn't notice, once again, I'm gonna, I kind of glanced over this here. Roses in the form are equals, and then a number cosine a number theta. So this is what's if this wasn't here, this would be a circle. So if I try typing that, um, let me just exit out of this. If I try typing r equals abc r equals just the four sine theta notice they get a circle right but by having a number there in front of theta click right come on please there we go uh putting a two there notice it's now a rose okay so still centered oops still centered at zero zero still has four petals so I'm gonna go wish one, two, three, four. I'm good enough. Four, four, four. Oh goodness, that's not good. 
I got ahead of myself. I'm going to make the four dots again. One, two, three, four. I'll make them at all my pi over fours. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. One, two, three. I'm trying really hard. Four. Good enough. Leave it alone. It's four petals. Okay, but once again, did I discover where the four comes from? Uh, I think it's the lead coefficient, not positive. All right, but if I know anything about circles, I also know that the four is the diameter, so it's how far it goes out this way. So fast forward, it doesn't come from that four. All right, so let's look at these next two. So let's do four next because all I have to do is change the two to a five, and it's just a faster move here. And notice there are five petals on this one, okay? They all go out a distance of four also. So I'm going to do one here, one here-ish, one here-ish, uh, one here-ish, and one here-ish. I'm going to try my best, right? That's all i got to do. One, two, whoa. Okay, I had to lift up my pen. Not a big deal. I'm trying. It's good enough. Five petals. All right, let's change that sine to a cosine. So I'm going to backspace and then hit function and then hit cosine. And what happens is it just turned a little bit, right? So I'm just going to do a really rough sketch of this one. One, and then two, and then one here, that's three, and here that's four, and here that's five. Notice this is not for beautifulness. I want to know how many petals it has, and I want you to know that it's a rose. Okay, so how do I decide what the petals is? So if you look right here, this five is right here. This five is right here, okay? But this four is not right here, and this four is not right here. So in this case, we had to double it. So if n, which is this number right here, um, dupe, 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 dupe. If n is an odd number, that's how many petals it has. If n is a neat, an even number, you have to double it, okay? All right. Next, we're looking at limaison. So if you look at the four limosones that I have you graph, they look very similar to a cardioid, except for if you look at the, the numbers, this is 1, 2 instead of 2, 2, or 1, 1. This is 2, 1. They're not the same. 4 and 2, not the same. 2 and 3, not the same. So if those two numbers are, not, are the same, it's a cardioid. If they're different, it's a limaison. So that's one thing that I know, that it's a limaison if the two numbers are different. But... Notice also I ask you this question, is there an inner loop? Okay, so you're going to also have to say like, okay, how do I know just by looking at the equation if there's an inner loop? So let's see what a limaison even looks like. We're going to do R equals. And then the first one is 1 plus 2 and then cosine of theta. So this is what a limaison looks like. And as you look, it does have a loop inside of it. So this has a loop, yes. And now I'm going to do my best to draw this. And I'm, okay, so I do see it touches zero, zero. And it looks, oh, goodness, that was not right. I should have practiced this before I, oh, there we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Should have practiced before <laughs> I did it. Okay, so start there. Go like this. There we go. There we go. Good enough. Get away from it, right? So it has a loop in it, okay? It still touches zero, zero, but does it have to? I don't know yet because I've only seen one, okay? All right, let's look at the next one. So it's uh, let's do the one below it next. Let's do number seven next because it has a cosine, and then I can just change the numbers. So number seven, I'm going to change this to a four. Four. And then the other one to a negative two, so minus two. All right, so first off, what I want you to notice actually on this one that I forgot to mention is this is positive cosine, so positive x-axis that's on there, okay? This is negative cosine. This is going to be on the negative x-axis, but notice this has no loop, no loop, okay? It does have an indent in it, so if you look at it, uh, can I draw on this? No, I can't make it move either. It kind of just disappeared when I touched it. All right, but if you look at it, it has an indent. It's not a circle. It looks like a limaison is French for bean, B-E-A-N. So it looks like a bean, okay? Uh, it doesn't touch zero, zero, but it does have an indent. So I'm going to exaggerate the indent so it almost looks like a cardioid. Oh, gosh. 
whoo, it's bad. But notice a cardioid would touch zero, zero. This doesn't touch zero, zero. So it's not a cardioid. I can tell it's a limeson. All right, let's try the next one. So I'm going to do R equals, and I'm going to backspace this and just get rid of it. Oops, too much. R equals 2 plus 1 sine of theta. I can just hit sine of theta, though. Sine of theta. And you can see, once again, this has no loop. It doesn't touch 0, 0, but there's that indent, so I'm going to exaggerate it again. And it's on the positive y-axis, positive y-axis. All right, let's look at the last one right here. I need to change it to a minus 3 sign, so I'm going to go back it up. Minus 3, and I got a loop back, okay? It's on the negative x-axis, or sorry, negative y-axis, and then it does have a loop. Yes. Okay, so we already know how to figure out what axis it's going to be on, but how do we figure out if it has a loop or not? So let's look at our two equations with the loop. This is yes and yes. Versus our two equations without a loop. Okay? If you look at it, these variables are A and B, A and B. Okay? So here, A is less than B. A is less than B. If A is less than B, there is a loop. A is less than B, loop. Okay, A is less than B, loop. If A is greater than B, A, B, A, B. If A is greater than B, no loop. Okay, so A less than, loop. If A is less than B, loop. If A is greater than B, no loop. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we've gotten this down. No more calculator, it's over. Okay, calculators for no, never again. No review, no homework, no test, nothing. All right, so I need to do these problems here. The first set is identify each as a line, a circle, a cardioid, a rose, a limosome with a loop, or a limosome without a loop. So the first one here, let's look at it. If you actually pause the video, try this A through H on your own. All right, here I have R equals 6 cosine of theta. This is a circle. The center's not 0, 0. It's on the positive x-axis. It has a radius of 3 and a center of 3, 0. All right, B, I have to decide because I know that it's either a cardioid or a limesone. So I have to say, is it a cardioid or a limesone? I look at these numbers, they're the same. So this is a cardioid. It's spelled card and then I O I D. Okay. Next one, theta equals, and that is automatically a line. All right, D, is that a limesone or a cardioid. The numbers are different, so it's a limeson, but I have to decide if it's a limeson with a loop or without a loop, okay? So if you look at this is A, this is B, A is less than B, so that's with a loop. So with a loop. R equals seven. R equals any number is a circle. Remember, this is a circle with center zero, zero, and a radius of seven. This is a limeson, okay? A, B. A is bigger than B, so no loop. R cosine theta equals 4. R cosine theta is the same, as, same thing as X. X equals 4 is a line. Last one, R cosine. If it was just R cosine theta, it'd be a circle. But guess what? There's a 2 right here. So since there's a, two val a value of 2 in front of theta, this is a rose. Could I also ask you a follow-up question of how many petals does it have? You look at this number, it's 2, which is an even number, so I need to double it. This has four petals. All right, next is matching. So match each equation with the sketch of its graph. All right, so I'll start with the first one. I am looking for a circle with a center 0, 0, and a radius of 4. So a circle, center 0, 0. This is the only one with the center of 0, 0. So I'm guessing that's a radius of 4, too, right? So this right here is A. Got it. All right, B, let me do this instead. B, that's another circle. R equals 3 sine, but I know that this is on the positive y-axis. So I'm looking for a circle on the positive y-axis. That's B. Next one, R sine of theta is the same thing as y. Y equals 3. I'm looking for a horizontal line. It's that right there. R equals negative 6 sine of theta. This is another circle, but it's on the negative y-axis. 
That would be this one down all the way at the bottom here, D. All right, this one here, this is a limeson. I'm looking for a limeson if you look A is less than B. So I'm looking for a limeson with a loop, and it's on the negative y-axis. So I'm looking for a limeson on the negative y-axis with a loop, and that would be right here. So this is, I forgot what letter I'm on, E. Okay, the body is on the y-axis, notice that. I had the negative y-axis, my bad. All right, next one. I notice these match, so this is a cardioid. I'm looking for a cardioid on the negative x-axis. So the negative x-axis cardioid is right here, this is F. How do I know it's not this one? Well, it's on the positive x-axis mostly, but also because it doesn't touch zero, zero. Cardioids have to touch zero, zero right there. This is a limasome because these don't match. A is bigger than B, A is greater than B, so no loop, no loop. It is on the positive x-axis. I'm looking for positive x-axis, no loop. So this is G. Next two, if you look at them, they're both roses, right? Because I see this n value right here, right? There's a number in front of theta. So to get the petals, if it's even, you double it. This has four petals. If it's odd, you keep the number, so three petals. This is a four-petal rose, which is right here. And I is a three-petal rose, which is right here. All right, last but not least, we have converting, which we already have done before. It's just a review. So notice these directions say I want R to be positive and theta in degrees. That's what it says right here, okay? All right, I gave you X and Y. You need R and theta, so we'll start with theta. Or sorry, we'll start with R. X, Y, and R. X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. Four squared plus negative four root three squared equals R squared. Oops, I forgot the square there. 16 plus, I need negative four root three. Please realize negative four root three squared is negative four root three times negative four root three. You can multiply the negative fours, which is 16, and then you can multiply the root threes, which is three. 16 times three is 48. So this is 48 equals r squared. 16 plus 48 is 64. And then you're gonna square it to solve. Remember, it's only a positive value based on the directions. So r is eight. Now I need theta. If I have x and y and I need theta, I use tangent of theta equals y over x. Tangent of theta equals y, which is negative 4 root 3, over x, which is 4. Simplify your fraction. The 4s cancel. So you have tangent of theta equals root 3. Now remember, there's two angles with an answer here, and we only want one. So we can start with the reference angle. It's a 60-degree ref angle. But I need to know what quadrant this is in to get it right. So let's find out what quadrant this is in. I'm going right four, down four root three. So I'm in the fourth quadrant. What is my 60 degree reference angle in the fourth quadrant? Remember, this is 60 degrees here. So that's 300 degrees. So my ordered pair is eight comma 300 degrees. All right, one more just to make sure we're okay. This is x, this is y. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. 25 plus 25 equals r squared. 50 equals r squared, and then square root to solve. You don't have to worry about the plus or minus because it's going to be positive based on the directions. 25 goes in there twice, so this is 5 root 2. All right, now I just need theta, so tangent of theta equals y, which is 5, over x, which is negative 5. Simplify this fraction. Tangent of theta equals negative 1. Remember, there's two angles that have a tangent of negative 1. It's definitely a 45-degree reference angle, but which one is it? Okay, so you have to know where this point is. Where's negative 5, positive 5? This quadrant. So what is this angle if this angle is 45 degrees? That is 135 degrees. So my ordered pair is 5 root 2, comma, 135. All right, that's it for these notes.